So what's going on guys, Kades here and welcome back to a brand new video. For today I will show you the best Black Desert Online class guide in 2022. So this game in general has a bunch of fun classes to play and we have a very unique variety to choose from. But the big question is, which classes are actually good for the specific activities that you want to do. So I've done a bunch of testing and here are the strengths and weaknesses of each class and much more. So if this sounds interesting to you then let's get right into it. So Shaker uses melee range, punches and kicks. He specializes in martial arts and has many complex combos that deal burst of damage in a short time, while also being very tanky. The combos are designed to be very tricky, and players may find the striker hard to master, but not hard to pick up if you're a new player. Overall the striker has high damage burst, he's very tanky, he has bunch of CC chains, he has short range mobility which is useful for PvP and PvE, and then lastly he needs less potions for grinding mobs, which can be useful to save up some money. So Lon is a martial artist that uses melee to mid-range combos, to slash at her enemies and quickly burst them down. She is a high damage duelist with lots of protection skills, mobility and CC, as well as long range grab. This class excels in 1v1 fights, but at the same time, she is one of the squishier classes. So you should stay away from the large scale PvP and focus more on small scale. Overall she has very fast PV clearing speed, which means that she can do serious amount of damage very quickly. Then she has very high mobility, she has high burst damage and lots of grab skills. And then lastly this class is pretty easy to learn for a new player. The Sorceress class uses mostly melee range spins, as well as some ranged abilities with a massive AoE damage potential. Overall she's amazing in all type of PvP content. She is a hybrid to mid range class, with lots of AoE skills, high damage, decent sustain and then lastly a very high mobility. So Hush Hushin is a melee assassin class that is able to manipulate sandstorms to quickly escape from danger or suppress his opponents. This also gives him an advantage in the desert, where he can travel slightly faster than other classes. He has fast paced combat style, which is very fluid and precise. Overall this class is very fast with lots of debuffs, then he has high crit rate, and most of his skills has great mobility. And then lastly he's very strong in PvE, because of his large AoEs and down attacks on his skills. So this is one of the newer classes that has bunch of mermaid skills. She is one of the most fun and powerful PV classes in the game. She can ride waves and slide to her enemies. She excels at close quarter combat as you would expect from a pirate. And even her ranged attacks will move you in the middle of your enemies. Moving around with Corsair at the start can be quite tricky, but when you get used to it she is the best and most fun class in BDO. So Mystic class uses melee range punches and kicks. She specializes in martial arts and has many complex combos that deal damage over time while keeping her targets locked down. The combos are designed to be very tricky and players may find Mystic hard to master, but not hard to pick up if you're a new player. Mystic is considered high tier in PvE at both low end grinding spots and high end grinding spots. Overall she has fast clearing speed with various skills that offer sustainable damage. So this class is fast paced with good burst and one combo potential, but it's a difficult class to master. Mosa is more gear dependent than other classes for PvP, and she needs to go to the higher AP brackets to really shine because she is very squishy class, and you will need to make sure you don't spam your dash too much. Overall Mosa in low end PvE is considered as one of the fastest clearing classes because of her high mobility and burst. So if you want to level up very quickly, then for sure this is the class for you. So Nova is a female class that uses a huge mace as her main weapon. The weapon has magical power and can switch its form between a sharp rapier like sword to a sight. This allows her to make quick piercing attacks as she gains a lot of mobility. Overall Nova is a slow class, so it's beginner friendly. Then she has good mid to long range AoE skills. And then lastly this class will get really good at level 60. So you will need to get to higher levels to unlock the full potential. So then for the 9th class we have the Shay, and we want to include her right in the A tier. So Shay is a completely unique class in BDO and she is the only full support class. She does reduce damage only in PvP and has far less skills than other classes. 
but she has healing skills and buff slash debuffs. I would personally not choose Shay as your main character, because Shay requires two different gear sets to be effective, and this is just not ideal for a new player. So Wizard is a typical magic caster class, with plenty of ranged AoE spells, slows, knockdowns and stuns. This high damage dealing class also has bunch of support skills, which makes him highly desirable for large scale PvP. Then as well, the Wizards play very offensive, and will often teleport into the enemy to grab them and then drop their high burst damage. In PvE, the Wizard is very strong, and easy because of his huge amount of AoE skills and long range damage. So which class is very similar to Wizard, but the main difference is that Wizard is more aggressive, with burst damage and has a grab, while the Witch class has a buffing block and is played more defensively, with higher range and more sustained DPS. Both classes are very similar, just Witch is a female version of a mage, with unique abilities, and then the Wizard is a male mage with more aggressive skills. So this class is the most recommended by almost all the endgame players. Black Desert Online can be very complicated, especially at the start. And for most classes, you have to learn the DPS rotation, and basically you have to put a bunch of hours just to be able to play the class, but not the Guardian, because she is the exception. This class doesn't have a lot of skills, and you basically only need to use 3 to 4 buttons for the whole damage rotation. She has something called lingering animations, that makes that her skills are sometimes much longer than other classes. Overall, the Guardian is not a top tier class for damage, but she is very high up on that list, with very little effort on your part. So Ninja is one of the two classes that have invisibility, which opens up a unique playstyle and you can pull off some fun engages because of it. This class is dynamic and fast paced, with many complicated skill combos. Ninja is also very level and gear dependent, as well as needing a lot of skill points for their core build. If you are new to the game, this not might be the best class to start off, because you will need to put a lot of time and work into the class just to see results. But if you do choose to play Ninja, then you will be the best 1v1 class, and you will find it very rewarding. So this class is fast paced, with good burst and 1 combo potential. But this class is difficult to master, because of the lack of protected damage skills, making her easy to catch if she makes a mistake. She is also more gear dependent than other classes for PvP, and she needs to get to the higher AP brackets, because she is a very squishy class. Overall this class is very similar to Musa. She has fast paced combo style, with good mobility, large AoE skills and very fun playstyle. So Warrior is an average in low end grinding spots, and can be often one of the more slower and clankier leveling classes. But he does become very strong in endgame content. He's very good if not one of the top tier classes for 1v1 PvP, because of his amazing 360 degree block, and also a grab skill. For this exact same reason, they're also quite strong in Node Wars. So Valkyrie is a slow moving tank, that can do a lot of damage with high AP. She is also a typical sword and board class, that also has supporting skills, which you can use to heal your allies or buff them. Valkyrie is the easy class to pick up and learn, but to really master the class, you will need to put a lot of time into learning all their mechanics. Overall this class is basically the female version of the warrior. With good damage, few supporting skills, she can move while blocking. And then lastly, she's really good in endgame content. So Sage has amazing animations, he can do insane amount of AoE damage and this class is powerful at all stages of progression. The Succession and the Awakening have distinct differences in their playstyle, but both of them are really good for beginners. They have also large AoE skills, great mobility and insane damage. This class really is good at all stages, so early grinding, mid game grinding and then the full end game content. He's one of those rare classes that can be put into any scenario and he will be able to perform. So Jakania is the newest class in the Black Desert Online. Combat wise, Jakania is on the slower side, which will feel much closer to the Guardian than the Warrior in this aspect. But I expect that after a few months of release, she will be likely changed and much more optimized in combat. This class has very cool animations. In PvP, this class is very high damage, but then on the other hand, for PvE, this class is very slow. So overall, I would recommend to play this class if you are primarily looking for a guardian slash warrior type of class, but just mainly for PvP. 
so Tamer has one of the most unique playstyles in Black Desert. At level 20, you're able to summon your Fit, who will help you out in combat. This is one of the squishiest classes because of her low base damage reduction, so if you make a mistake, it can be very punishing. She is quite average in both low end PvE and high end PvP, but Tamer really shines in 1v1 fights because she has great engages and good amount of iframes. Your pet can also stun the enemy while you're in the iframe, which will give you great opportunities or it can even save you in some cases. So Kunoichi is the female counterpart of the ninja class. She is the only other class that has stealth, which opens up a unique playstyle and you can pull off some fun engages because of it. This class is dynamic and fast paced, with many complicated skill combos and cancels. She feels quite clunky at first, because she has some long animations, but once you learn how to properly cancel them and make them flow, she becomes more faster and fun. Her damage and mobility is lacking compared to other classes, but she has good survivability and good CC, that can be still very good if you know how to use it. So Dark Knight class uses melee range to slash at her enemies as well as dark magic spells. She is often compared to sorceress class because of her dark magic and playstyle. She is very high mobility, she has bunch of AOV with fast clearing speed, as well as high burst damage once awakened, but she has very low defenses and can be somewhat of a glass cannon. This class relies heavily on protected skills while sacrificing damage at close range. So Archer has lots of mobility and dexterity, allowing you to cut your target and deal damage at long range distances. He has good damage but very low defenses, and he is considered a glass cannon that must rely on kiting and keeping his distance until the right moment. As you spend your time not using skills but kiting, this will reduce your overall damage a lot. Overall the Archer is top tier in PvE, since he can blow up entire mob packs with a single ability at high range. So Berserker is a melee slash tank bruiser class. He's very chaotic and fun class to play with a unique playstyle because of his size. Berserkers can widely stomp, grab and show enemies very easily. So overall the Berserker is fun class that has mixture of range and melee skills. He has good burst damage and then lastly this class is very unique and has fun playstyle. So Ranger like Archer has lots of movement and dexterity allowing you to cut your target and deal damage at long and short distances. He has high attack damage but very low defenses, and he's a considered as assassin class. Ranger is mid-tier in PvE with decent clearing speed. The main issue is that they consume mana very quickly, and he will require a lot of healing potions when grinding, and that's about it. And with that said, I really do appreciate everyone for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, feedback or other good Black Desert online classes or guides that you would like to see in the next video, then feel free to leave your comments in the comment section down below. And while you're doing that, please click like, subscribe and enable that notification bell. So this way you could support the channel and you won't miss any more amazing content from me. With all this said, you have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. So take it easy. Peace. Yo, I